For this tutorial, you're going to need an H 5mm crochet hook and some cotton worsted weight yarn. I'm using Lily's Sugar and Cream Cottons. So to start, we're going to make a magic ring. Chain one and place 10 half double crochet into the magic ring. Let's tighten up that magic ring and join with the slip stitch to the first half double crochet made. Join with the slip stitch, chain one. Now we're going to place two half double crochet in each stitch around. That's one and two. Continue around by placing two half double crochet in each stitch. Join with a slip stitch to the first half double crochet made. Round three, chain one, two half double crochet in the first stitch. Half double crochet in the next stitch. Continue repeating two half double crochet, one half double crochet, all the way around. Now we're going to join with a slip stitch to the first half double crochet made. And that completes round three. You should have 30 stitches. Round four, we're going to chain one, two half double crochet in the first stitch. half double crochet in the next two stitches. Continue to repeat two half double crochet in the next stitch and one half double crochet in the next two stitches. Work that all the way around. You should have 40 stitches now, and we're going to join with a slip stitch to the first half double crochet made. And chain one. For round five, we're going to repeat two half double crochet in the first stitch, one half double crochet in the next three stitches. So place those two half double crochet in the first stitch and then half double crochet in the next three stitches. Again, that's two half double crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next three stitches. So repeat two half double crochet, half double crochet in the next three stitches all the way around. Now we have 50 stitches all the way around, completing round five. We're going to join with a slip stitch to the first half double crochet made. 
right? And then for round six, chain one, two half double crochet in the first stitch, and then half double crochet in the next four stitches. That's two half double crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next four stitches. So continue to repeat two half double crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next four stitches, all the way around. Now we're going to join with a slip stitch to complete round six, and you should have 60 stitches around. Join with a slip stitch, chain one, for row seven. For row seven, we're going to do two half double crochet in the same stitch, half double crochet in the next five stitches. two half double crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next five stitches. Continue repeating two half double crochet in the next stitch and half double crochet in the next five stitches all the way around. All right, now we're going to join with a slip stitch to complete round seven. You should have 70 stitches. For round eight, we're going to increase two stitches instead of increasing. 10 times around the circle. So we're going to do two half double crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next six stitches. Two half double crochet in the next stitch. And then you're going to continue by half double crocheting around your entire circle. And we're going to join with the slip stitch to the first half double crochet made, completing round eight. You should have 72 stitches around. For round nine, we're going to chain two, and we're going to double crochet, chain one, four times in the first stitch. That's one, two, three, and four. I have double crochet, chain one, four times. Okay, and then we're gonna skip the next three stitches, single crochet in the next stitch, chain five, skip the next three stitches, and single crochet in the next stitch, Chain one, skip the next three stitches, and then I'm going to continue repeating this double crochet, chain one, four times. One, two, three, and four. Skip the next three stitches, single crochet in the next stitch. Chain five, skip the next three stitches, 
single crochet in the next stitch, chain one. Continue repeating this all the way around. Now we're going to join with the slip stitch to the first double crochet made, completing round nine. For round 10, we're going to slip stitch into the first chain one space, chain two. Now we're going to place three double crochet. in the chain one space. Chain two. Three double crochet in the next chain one space, chain two, and three double crochet in the next chain one space. Now we're going to single crochet, chain three, single crochet in the next chain five space. And we're going to repeat that. We're going to make three double crochet in the chain one space of the fan, chain two, three double crochet in the chain one space, chain two, Three double crochet in that final chain one space. And then we're going to single crochet, chain three, single crochet in the next chain five space. Okay. You're going to continue to repeat this by putting three double crochets in the chain one spaces of the fans and then placing a single crochet chain three in each of the chain five spaces. So continue doing that all the way around. Now we're going to join with a slip stitch to the first double crochet made, completing round 10. This is where your hat pattern should start to fold up. Around 11, we're going to slip stitch into the next two double crochet and into the next chain two space. I'm going to chain one, single crochet in the chain two space, chain five, single crochet in the next chain two space, chain one. Double crochet, chain one, four times. Chain one, two, three, and four. Skip the next three double crochet. Single crochet in the next chain two space, chain five single crochet in the next chain two space, chain one. Continue by repeating four double crochet chain one in each chain three space and single crochet chain five, single crochet in the chain two spaces of the fan. Continue that all the way around. We're going to join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet made completing round 11. And on 12, we're going to slip stitch into the chain five space, chain one, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, 
And then we're going to place three double crochet in the next chain one space of the shell. Chain two, three double crochet in the next chain one space. Chain two, three double crochet in the next chain one space. And then we're gonna single crochet, chain three, single crochet in the next chain five space. Continue repeating that around by placing three double crochets in each of these chain one spaces divided by chain two spaces. And then in each chain five space, create a ch single crochet, chain three, single crochet. Continue working that all the way around. Now we're going to join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet made, completing round 12. And for round 13, we're going to slip stitch into the chain 3 space, chain 2, double crochet, chain 1 four times, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And we're going to single crochet in the next chain two space, chain five, single crochet in the next chain two space, chain one, and then continue placing four double crochets with chain ones between them in the chain three spaces. One, two, three, and four, and then single crochet in the next chain two space, chain five, single crochet in the next chain two space, and then chain one. Continue repeating that all the way around. Now we're going to join the slip stitch to the first double crochet made to complete round 13. Now to continue, you're going to repeat round 10 and round 11. So I'm going to leave a timestamp in the description box below showing you how to repeat again rounds 10 and 11 on top of this. It'll be the same thing that you did down here, working these three double crochets with a chain two and three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet across this fan right here. And then our single crochet, chain three, single crochet in this stitch right here. So continue doing that, go back to that timestamp and repeat rows, rounds 10 and 11. Now that we repeated rounds 10 and 11, which is rounds 14 and 15, we're going to move on to round 16. You're gonna chain one, single crochet in the next single crochet, three single crochet in the next chain five space, single crochet in the next single crochet, single crochet in the next double crochet, single crochet in the next chain three space, again, and again, single crochet in the next double crochet, no, skip the next chain one space, single crochet in the next single crochet, three single crochet in the chain five space, single crochet in the next single crochet, skip that next chain one space, and single crochet in the double crochets and the chain one spaces. Continue repeating that all the way around. Once you've reached the end, join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet made. Now round 17, chain one, two single crochet in the first stitch, 
single crochet in the next eight stitches. You're going to repeat two single crochet in the next stitch, single crochet in the next eight stitches all the way around. So let's see what we have. We have two single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So continue to repeat that two single crochet in the next stitch and then the single crochet in the next eight stitches. Repeat that all the way around. Join with slip stitch to the first single crochet made to complete round 17. Should have 80 stitches now. Moving on to round 18, chain one, single crochet in the next nine stitches. Two single crochet in the next stitch. You're going to repeat making single crochet in the next nine stitches and then two single crochet in the next stitch. So continue working that all the way around. Join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet made to complete round 18. For round 19, chain one two single crochet in the first stitch, single crochet in the next 10 stitches. You're going to repeat doing two single crochet in the next stitch and 10 single crochet in the, well, single crochet in the next 10 stitches. So you have two single crochet, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So repeat, two single crochet, and then single crochet in the next 10 stitches. Continue that all the way around. We're gonna join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet made to complete round 19. For round 20, we're gonna chain one, single crochet in the next 11 stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Two single crochet in the next stitch. Continue by single crocheting in the next eleven stitches and then making two single crochet in the next stitch. Repeat that all the way around. Join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet made to complete round twenty. Should have a hundred and four stitches now. For round twenty-one chain one, two single crochet into the first stitch, single crochet into the next 12 stitches. So single crochet two and then 12 single crochet. So we're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch and then single crochet 12. Continue to repeat two single crochet, single crochet 12 all the way around. Join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet made to complete round 21. We should now have 112 stitches. For 22, you're going to chain one, two, and you're going to single crochet in the next 13 stitches. two single crochet in the next stitch. Continue by repeating single crochet 13 and two single crochet in the next stitch. Just repeat that all the way around. 
Now we're going to join with a slip stitch again to the first single crochet made to finish round 22. We should have 120 stitches. Round 23, chain one, two single crochet in the same stitch, and then single crochet in the next 14. Two single crochet in the next stitch, single crochet in the next 14. Continue by repeating two single crochet in the next stitch, single crochet in the next 14, all the way around. And now we're going to join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet made. I like the length of my brim like this, so I'm going to finish it off. The pattern on the website has a few more rounds to make your brim just a little bit longer, but I like it like this, so I'm going to stop now. And there you have your completed hat.